Hi there, in this video I'm going to have a look at the carburation and the ignition for the Upshur's Opposed Twin. Now the carburetor is pretty straightforward and I didn't show any machining of this. I just followed the dimensions in the drawing. The only obvious thing is this plate here. Um, when I made the carburetor I noticed there were two holes to be drilled and tapped here, 2B56. And the idea is you bolt this onto this uh, side frame here. So these holes are already drilled, pre-drilled. But you need to get the bolts in from the inside. Now having already um, sort of assembled the body and sealed it, I didn't really want to take this bottom plate off. So what I decided to do was to make this plate here. And I uh, stuck the carburetor on with some uh, Loctite 638 and the idea will be that when I bolt this to whatever the base is going to be I'm going to bolt this in front of it so it'll be the same height and, and it'll be centred the same as per the uh, original sort of idea really and the other thing that's probably worth mentioning is I experimented a little bit when I made this uh, needle valve uh, th that's uh, 2B56 and it's got a very fine um, point on the end if I take it off let's have a look there. so to make that what I did was I took a bolt Capped screw, which is 2 by 56 chop the head off it to give me something like that. Then I put that in the lathe, I turned the compound slide, uh, I think about 8 degrees, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, and put a, a Proxon uh, stroke Dremel tool. Um, on the uh, cross slide or the compound slide and then um, having done that I put the lathe in reverse and the proxon in the normal rotation and uh, I ground the tip on it by uh, moving the compound slide in and out and the cross slide in a bit um, and that gave me a pretty good result and having got a point on this, I then just made a head and then just stuck it on with a locked out 638. It's not the uh, most pretty um, of results because you can still see a bit of all there. Um, but uh, it's functional. Now for the ignition, I'm going to use this uh, one from Minimag and this is a dual output so it's got two leads coming out of it uh, one for each spark plug now this unit what will happen here is um, when the hall sensor triggers it it'll generate a spark on each of these at the same time so this engine will run on a I think they call it a wasted spark situation so um, both will spark on both sides um, on, on each cylinder uh, obviously one cylinder will be under compression um, with fuel in it so that will sort of fire this one won't fire because there'll be no fuel in it at all it'll just be a wasted spark and likewise when this one's under compression with fuel in it this one will fire uh, but this one won't if that sort of explains it now so install this my thoughts were that what I could do is uh, put a hall sensor on the side here so the way I've done this is I 3d printed this uh, little bit of plastic I've utilized an existing hole a uh, screw hole and um, what I did was with this plastic I drilled three holes quite close to each other 
for the um, for the connectors of, for the um, hall sensor to go through. Having got them in the back, I then attach these wires. So these wires will attach to that control unit, that ignition unit. Now, to trigger this, what you need is um, a, a magnet. Um, but with it being a twin, uh, you'll need two magnets. <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've made this. Oops. And the idea being these magnets here, the south facing, and this will go on there and it can be adjusted for position. So I'll make it so that when this uh, when one of the cylinders is under compression and near top dead centre, this one of these magnets will be just triggering that whole unit, whole sensor. Um, having done that, um, the, the idea is you see that will turn, oh, it's not bolted down, but that will turn and when the other one gets to top of centre under compression, it will fire that one. So that's the plan. Okay, so I've uh, set a test rig up for this ignition just to make sure that it all works correctly. And what you do is you connect six volts up from the battery pack onto the positive and negative terminals here. Then you connect the wires um, from the sensor to the appropriate connections on here. Um, the two HT leads, one, of, one goes onto each of the spark plugs. This is just a temporary arrangement. This initially confused me a bit because on the ones that just have one spark plug um, one of these leads is an earth which connects to the body and that's not the case in this because what happens is when it generates a spark the HT lead goes to one of the spark plugs and then uh, uses the body as a conductor to the next to the other spark plug like in series I suppose you might call it and then it comes back around. So it is like an earth, uh, essentially. So uh, what we'll do is we'll give it a try. So I'll switch it on. And if I turn the engine, so here the inlet valve is going to open on this cylinder. So at that point it's going to draw in, the piston's coming back, it's going to draw in fuel. It just closes there. We're at bottom of stroke now. So now it's going to come up, is the piston, compressing the fuel mixture. Now this light that comes on here, that's not saying it sparked. It sparked when it actually goes off. So if you watch for when it goes off, off there, and it's just gone off just before top dead centre. And then if we continue this cycle, we've got this inlet valve opening here to draw in fuel. It closes, the piston goes on its compression stroke, compressing the fuel. This has come on, but bear in mind that this isn't an indicator of it um, uh, causing a spark. It causes a spark when it goes off. And as we come round, it's just gone off there. We're nearly at top of stroke. Um, might need some fine adjustment that, but essentially um, the method is working. So I'm happy with that. Well, all of a sudden I seem to be making some progress with this uh, little engine and 
The only thing that's remaining really now is um, connecting up the carb, uh, making a flywheel, so I've just received that in the post, a bit of cast iron I'm going to make it out of, and uh, making a base. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, my uh, next video might show it running. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later.